All right, let's continue, Thousand Yadol. We've just arrived in the town, finally. After some mystery. You wouldn't happen to have a train set for sale, would you? A gold one, perhaps? Uh, now that we're here, we'll purchase that birthday present for little Bob. Hey, mister, I'm gonna get a train set, the coolest one ever invented. I could just have them buy me a real train, but maybe I'll save that for next year. So during the break, <laughs> noticed I got another one of those club promoter texts. And now it's just like, so... You know, before I was kind of convinced at the demographic of what it was going to be, but now it's like the music type they're promoting, which is like... They're promoting Latino music tonight, and it's just like, what kind of club is this? <laughs> And again, they're promoting the, the supermarket vouchers. It's just like, what is this? What is this place? How do you get to the second? F There's a second floor to this house. Hmm. Okay, so I guessed wrong. What an inconvenient house. <laughs> The business people I am waiting for <laughs> haven't arrived yet, so I may do some sightseeing at Poshley Sanctum. <laughs> On the expense account, of course, as if you have to ask by now. <laughs> Welcome to my vacation home, you marvellous man. The train journey certainly was thrilling, hmm? I see, this house is normal. It has... Stairs. I mean, makes sense. I'd heard Poshley Heights was a quiet place, but there are lots of tourists, huh? Maybe I should just open up a store selling Shiva City souvenirs. Yeah, maybe so. <laughs> Welcome to you. How'd you like to buy some high quality fresh pasta as a souvenir? One package costs 50 coins. How about it? It's a pasta. Put it in a box. Deliver it to my house. <laughs> we are the Wandering Girls, the Traveling Sisters 3. We're staying in that luxury hotel. Partially Heights sure is a place for the richest of the rich, huh? We're thinking of going to see the Partially Sanctum next. It's gonna be stuck in your head. Ah! <laughs> there's, there's a piranha in the fountain? What? Okay. I'm sorry, but there was pasta. Nothing could be done. So lovely house, eh? Yeah, sure. Just take your time to soak in all of the ma its majesty. I built it with even the smallest details in mind, making every nook special. Not only the interior, but the facade as well. Yeah, look around outside too. Are these penguins Canadian or something? I guess it's sort of fun to live here. 
but I can't eat snow cones or make little snowmen or go ice skating. Or any other stuff I did in Shiver City, eh? Don't know what you got till it's gone. If one of them says sorry with like S A W R Y, then the Canadian penguins. They're sorry and then they're sorry. Very different. Bonjour, Monsieur de la Moustache. This isn't the last at the reception that's magnificent. I shall stay here every night until uh, art is mine. I shall not tire. Shitty French accent. <laughs> Welcome, sir. This is the Royal Poshley Park Tower. We promise a comfortable stay in the lap of luxury, the pinnacle of poshness. A room for the night costs a mere 30 coins. What do you say? Do I need a heal? I think I'm fine. I'm pretty sure I'm fine. Uh, nothing bad has happened yet. It's a nice hotel, though. <laughs> Wait a minute. So the little sounds he makes when... He's talking, it's blah, 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 blah. Listen. <laughs> They've even made him just like blah, 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 blah. I look like it, but I get pretty stressed out, like, really bad, eh? But walking barefoot on the grass like this makes me feel much better, you betcha. Care to join me, guy? You betcha? A, you betcha, and... Where are these penguins meant to be from? Hey there, Poshley Heights sure is nice and warm, eh? Yeah, I really dig- are, are they Midwestern? <laughs> What are they? I really dig it here. Cold places make me sneeze. They seem to have um, an implied accent here. Poshlik Sanctum is rather famous building, eh? And the painting inside isn't the only gorgeous thing. So is the building. I could just stare at it all day. You betcha. You don't talk like that? I'm not saying you talk like that. I'm just set, I'm just trying to guess where it's from. I mean, stere stereotypical accent, you know, not like extra thick, comedic thick level accent. This is what we're headed for here. You're from Michigan. Don't blame that on U.S. Midwesterners. I'm just trying to guess. <laughs> Not saying, oh, look at these Midwesterners and how they talk. They say A and oh. Listen to how they say their O's. Oh my god. It's a good thing I speak with a great accent that no one makes fun of ever. Wow. Australian accents are perfect in every way. There's no hidden box here. How do I get... Oh, wait. New, new ability. Well... Where... Where are they from, then? I thought it was Canadian until... I... Like, the you betcha. Who else says you betcha? If they say scooch, I'm sorry, there's nothing I can do. Scooch or roof? Instead of roof? Wait, 
Wait, there's no way in there. Yeah, thanks for the tip. Guess we should look around. Okay, fine. Apparently, according to Google, Upper Midwest. However, you don't know anyone that talks like that. Well, of course not. Like... I acknowledge that there are people that, in, in Australia, that talk, Oh yeah, how's it going? I talk like this! Fully Australian, mate! I busted me plucker the other day going to the pub! You know, but I don't talk like that. No one that I know talks like that, really. But I know there are people that exist that talk like that. But if someone were to say, if I was to read text here and be like, oh, this penguin is saying, I busted me plugger. <laughs> then, yeah, it's an Aussie accent. Wait. We Aussie short is everything, so you betcha is short, for us at least, for you bet your life, and has been around for at least 50 years. Also it blames Australian. Right, but it's not just that text, there's A, there's... It's not just you betcha, it's A, Yah, and you betcha. Australians don't go Yah and A. The, the determining factor will be, if I see the word scooch, I'm sorry, they're, they're Midwestern. I can't do a Midwestern accent, so it's fine, like, I'm not gonna attempt to do it. But if one of- if- if one of those penguins tell- tells me to let me s let them scooch right past me, then I'm sorry. <laughs> like, what am I supposed to do at that point? Nothing bad. They're, pe they're Midwestern penguins. They're like cute penguins. What's wrong with it? What's wrong with the penguins being Midwestern? What if they're from Minnesota, huh? Gee, these penguins sure sound a lot like Star Slayer. What? Hey? Eh? <laughs> Imagine if I would have opened with that, then by all means, yell at me. How do I get into this build? I'm being distracted. How do I get into this building? I know you're- I know you're not- I know you're not yelling, I'm- I'm just... I'm just saying. There's a key somewhere. Look at this helpful advice. How do you get inside? Guess we should look around. I think I talked to everyone. I may have missed the hint. Hang on. So they said they were staying at the hotel. Partially sanctum next, right, but like, how do I get in there? You know what's weird? So these penguins have, you know, they're all speaking this way. But then the detective penguin on... The train did not have these mannerisms at all. I gave the penguin on the train like a Gordon Ramsay accent, and I guess that's completely wrong now. Something here.
I guess it's sort of fun to live here. I can't eat snow cones or make little snowmen or go skating. Or any of the stuff I did in Shiver City, eh? Don't know what- oh, right. Yeah, I guess... What's the most Midwestern sentence these penguins can say? I've never heard an Aussie say you betcha, or like... Anything similar to that. inside, okay, but none of these penguins are talking to get into this place. gonna let me into the sanctum. It's also bothering me that this house... What is... What's going on here? There's like a second floor, but there's no way to get up there. So, if you'd like to stay here, I must ask you to observe reception desk etiquette and stay on your side. Awesome. I love the text in this game sometimes. Hold on, there's a note on the door. Gone traveling, sanctum manager. No way, that stinks. What now? <laughs> ah, it is my dear Luigi. What are you doing at my doorstep, young fellow? I have this accent despite being in a town where people obviously speak with an accent that's not from the UK. What? Well, you live here? So you're the sanctum manager. Dude, I thought you were a detective. Well, yes. That is more like a hobby of mine, if the truth must be told. But enough chatter, hmm? Shall we go inside? See what I mean? Like, the penguin doesn't have the same text as the other penguins. So all I had to do was read the sign. Alright, well. This dude sounds sus. Nah, he's fine. He's just an idiot. <laughs> He's a very bad detective. <laughs> so you're one step too late. We have the crystal star. Hey, don't leave without me. Oh, crud, we're too late. We gotta go after them. Just a second there, Luigi. Exactly what is going on here? Speak quickly. Mm, yes, quite rudimentary. So you were looking for the crystal star in the sanctum. Oh, 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 yes, very interesting. Well, no cause for worry. The crystal star is safe. Yes, quite safe indeed. The stone that our rude friend stole was fortunately a red herring. A fake. The 
real one is hidden somewhere in the sanctum to prevent such a theft. However, as to the location of the crystal star, well, as sanctum manager, I am of course prohibited from telling anyone. However, I do know where it is. Of that you can be most certain, yes indeed. Besides, I am sure a junior detective like yourself could find it on your own. Now, Luigi. Put to use all of the razor-sharp sleuthing skills I have taught you. Make me proud. Yeah, it's just... Maybe that penguin is just putting on that accent. He's putting on a fake British accent to sound like he's a detective. But deep down inside... Midwestern penguin. Star icon here. Oh, there's a hang on, there's a pole. <laughs> Why does the pole have no shadow? Or oh no, I see. The star is probably Yeah. I see. Oh. Can't go across this, can I? No. There's this Australian comedian that put an interesting thought out there. And it was, you know, there are a lot of people that like the Australian accent. It appears to be one of the accents that people really like for some reason. But, you know, in media, you don't really see it that often. And actual Australian actors rarely use their real accent. <laughs> It's, they always have to put, like, a British or an American accent on. It's very rare that they actually get to speak the way they normally do. Oh, come on. Like, I, I can't think of any Aussie a accent in movies in a major role. Ah. Like, imagine if Thor was, like, Australian in the Marvel movies. Me laugh. Oh, I don't like this. This is going to be bad. these ghosts what do they do what do i need to be aware of that's a dark boo purple just looks so wrong these boos are so creepy max hp eight attack five defense zero it's hp and attack are high but they're just like ordinary boos otherwise so just attack it like a normal boo get it before it turns invisible okay well that's fine Oh, they're straightforward with these boots. Well, in that case... I'm definitely gonna fight this because it's gonna be 
good experience. Jump! I have no idea how to do a stylish version of that attack. Oh, crap. Oh, invisible. What are they doing? What are they doing? Nope. Okay, well, I guess now it's even. Um, I can't hit it. There's nothing I can do to target it. Alright, defend. Ooh. Some low health. It's okay. Level up, it'll heal him. Uh, got badge points. I think I can equip a defense badge for him. Increase Mario's HP by 5. Boost Mario's attack by 1. Ooh. No, I'm saving for that one. That's a good one. I don't know how I missed. <laughs> I shouldn't have missed that. Um, I'll let Ponus handle that one. I wonder if there's a badge to raise the attack power of the partner by one, because that would make that attack pretty devastating. Oh, there we go. Okay. This room is worthwhile. Ah! Oh, it's only one of them. That's fine. There's a lot of them. Okay, instead of take damage, I'm gonna do this. Yeah. 
Yeah, good. <laughs> Way to show my ability to draw a circle. Whoa! Analog stick, please! Ah! Okay, there's three of them. Um, let's... Ah, I thought that was an item. <laughs> I would have blocked it. I wasn't sure if that was an item or like someone being an ass. Okay, now I know. Didn't take them out. Okay, look. Um, yeah, I mean, let's just do that. Use it or lose it. Well, this was a good room. This pretty much gave me a whole level's worth of experience. Oh, um, do I have any... I don't have any AoE attacks. Alright. Well, I'll just... do this. I guess that just means that it's levitated. There's no way this is this straightforward. I don't believe it. Oh. Well, so I just assumed this was like a really long chapter, so I could have probably done this yesterday. Oh well. Mario found the sixth crystal star hidden craftily in the Poshley Heights Sanctum. Now only one crystal star remains, but our hero still does not know where Princess Peach is being held. Where could the last crystal star be, and where is Peach being held? Hoping this crystal star might yield answers, Mario and friends return to Pennington. I thought this was going to be like a whole other chapter. Well, that was easy. Oh, wait. I don't know if I can finish this tonight. We'll see. Hmm, so that's where it was. Oh, uh, nothing, nothing. Just talking to my brain. All geniuses do it. Congratulations, Luigi. 
you have found the real crystal star. So please feel free to take it. I'll just put another fake one over here. Well, traveling with you has been rather hectic, but I do admit, rather fun as well. I'm sure you still have a long road ahead, Luigi, but do not give up. Let's make tracks for road port. Wow, that was actually the end of the chapter. All right. What is the matter with you idiots? Falling for a fake crystal star? That's asinine. Sorry, dude. I mean, sir. So let me guess. This Mario managed to get the real crystal star. I'm sorry. I'm gonna say maybe. Ugh. This mustache menace has nearly every crystal star now. They were mine. I think I'd better alter my plan a bit. Before you do, Sir Grinus, I, I think I'd better tell you something. What is it, fool? Mumble, mumble. What? Are you sure? Speak! No joke, dude. I mean, affirmative, sir, dude. That is, I'm positive, sir. Ah, uh, treason! Strange, isn't it about time for Tech to call me in? Maybe he's busy. Oh, here we go. They may have found out. Hello, Tech. What do you want today? Princess Peach, I have... I have reached a conclusion. A conclusion? I have struggled with whether to obey orders or to speak to you. And I have also struggled with what I should believe. Tech, you don't sound right. What's going on with you? Princess Ple Peach, please escape from this place as quickly as possible. Escape? Tech? What do you mean by that? I mean, why all of a sudden? The data you procured has been analyzed and something terrible is... No, I will not say. But I have found out everything about Sir Gratis's plan. Gratis's plans? You mean about conquering the world? Yes. And among those plans was the reason why you are being held here. According to the data... No, no way, that's impossible. I don't believe it. Yes, everything is true. That is why you must escape from here as fast as possible. But how can I do that, Tech? I mean, I don't even have the slightest idea where I am. I will not hide anything anymore, no. Not from you. I will tell you everything. The place you are currently imprisoned. This is the moon. The moon? You mean the moon that hangs up in the sky at night? That moon? That is correct. But that's unbelievable. How in the world am I supposed to escape? There is a way. You can escape, but you must follow my instructions exactly. But Tech, won't they know that you helped me? Won't you get in trouble? That is inconsequential. I would like you to be safe. That is all that matters. Tech. I am the base's computer. No one will know of your escape if I keep silent. Please do not worry about me. Escape. Escape as quickly as possible. Okay, Tech. But I must inform Mario about all this before I go. This is no longer just my problem. Understood. Oh, 
Hold it right there, Princess Peach. EQ. Tech, you miserable machine. We all know what you're up to, traitor. Sir Grotus, I... In my most paranoid moments, I never thought my own computer would betray me. Well, it doesn't really matter in the end, I suppose, especially since it ends here. You monster, what are you planning to do with him? <laughs> Only one thing to do with a malfunctioning computer. Look at that face she's putting on right now. That looks more skeptical than concerned. Cut the circuit and delete all the programs and data that caused the malfunction. Obviously, all data relating to Princess Peach must go as well. Yes, we must be absolutely sure nothing like this happens again. No, I am... I am normal. There is no malfunction. Pipe down, Tech. x knots. At the same time, press the red buttons on Tech's sides. Got it, sir. Tech, no! Mail sent. Princess Peach, I, I, love you. Deletion complete. Tech! Gak, 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 gak. Too bad, Princess Peach. Tech is no longer with us. No, you inhuman beast. How could you? Princess Peach, just stop it. This is no time to be worrying about a computer. We have a very important role for you to play now. Yes, very important. No! Gak, 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 gak. Meanwhile... <laughs> I've got no crystal stars, I can't find Princess Peach! Twilight Town was, well... It wasn't exactly glorious, what's going on here? If this keeps up, Mari's gonna steal everything from my grasp, as usual! Your massiveness. We did it. The Magic Cooper Scouts found a suspicious underground chamber. It isn't even on my maps. Yeah, really suspicious. Something must be there. <laughs> About time. Well done. This is where it all turns around for me. Definitely. The Hammer Bros Battalion is attempting to breach the chamber at the moment. The area is impenetrable. They're scraping tooth and nail in there. No problem. Direct me there. I'll blast us through. I'm Bowser, baby. I was going to say it's time for shitty Luigi voice. <laughs> It's okay, not yet. Oh, you're kidding. Man, I, I love these segments. Oh, I see. If I'm tiny, I can get the coins. Hey, well done. What the? Uh-oh. Get away. <laughs> Look at how tiny he is.
Incredible old Bowser. Nothing stood in your way. You couldn't be more super. <laughs> Please. No problem. I felt right at home. But where are we now? Gracious me. Look, Lord Bowser. On the wall. Behind you. <laughs> Hello? Could it be? Oh, yeah! A crystal star! Advantage Bowser! Mwahaha! <laughs> At last, we found one! And now we'll make it ours! <laughs> Freeze, chumps! Rah! <laughs> <laughs> who's there? Ha 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 ha! Don't tell me you don't know the famous Rock Hawk! You little punk weasel, you forgot these muscles. You forgot this hugeness. Don't ask me how, but you cleared my secret training facility. Not too shabby. I even imported some super freaks to up the difficulty level. You're good. Course. Good don't count for squat in this biz, babe. My champ's belt is mine. <laughs> oh, look! What an adorable little weak weakling. Hi, fella! Weak? Wait, what? Well, tell me something. Wait, it, it just auto skipped. Do this! <laughs> Pain. Pain. Ouch. <laughs> oh, now you're sleeping. I knew you were a weakling. What? The crystal star? Hmm. Eek. It's split in two. Oh, no, oh, no, 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 no. Wait. Hold the phone. My mighty Lord Bowser. This is just glass. It's a flim flam. It's a fake. <laughs> what? What are you saying? Use words I know. <laughs> you. Oh, want the real one? The great uh, Gonzalez has it. Oh, my aching hair. Feel the rock. I don't know anyone named Gonzalez. Stop speaking in riddles, you chicken nugget. Crud. Who do I have to flatten to get a crystal star? Who? Who? I appreciate that he's being just relegated to comic relief in this, and there's a bigger villain. <laughs> Gonzalez! That must be an email from Princess Peach. Check it, man! I just love listening to this. Uh -huh. Mario. I now know where I'm being held. I'm on the moon. Yes, the moon that floats out in space. And I've learned something even more horrifying. In order to resurrect the monster's spirit, they need my... Wow, the moon for real? The princess is up there? Man, that is so cool. But why is her email cut off like that? Hang on. You don't think something happened to her? Oh yes, it's time for shitty Luigi accent. Well, guess what I found in the rapturous ruins, bro? Yep, a marvelous compass piece. This part of my adventure was actually sort of sad, if you want to know the truth. It was pretty bizarre, bro. Want to hear what happened? It's a long story. <laughs> 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 
good that they specified the one in space, totally thinking of a different moon. It could have been moon pie, or like, what if they had, you know, a pizza store that had a moon for a logo? I don't know. Well, like I said, it's a really long story, but here goes. After journeying deep into the Greenbell Forest, I found the domed rapturous ruins. Inside, everything was pure white. You couldn't tell where the floor became walls. Proceeding dead ahead, I found myself in a chamber where young, a young boy sat. As I approached the boy, someone named Screamy appeared out of nowhere. Screamy said that the boy's name was Cranberry and that he'd wait for a child of fate. That didn't make any sense to me. So I started searching quietly for a campus piece. But then it happened, bro. I got a tiny tickle in my nose. And I let out a huge sneeze. Well, Cranberry must have heard it. Because he opened his eyes right up. He looked at me and smiled. And all of a sudden, I could understand his language. Can you believe it? I learned that the boy was the last of an ancient race. The laughs. He had been there guarding the marvelous campus piece for the last thousand years. He told me that the campus is an item with the power to see into the future. The ancient love empire used the power of the campus to rule much of the world. Because of their greed, they were cursed by the campus and their empire collapsed. To prevent a repeat of their fate, Cranberry broke the campus into seven parts. He hit six and kept one, putting himself to a sleep until a worthy hero woke him. I was that hero, bro. He gave it to me and then he vanished. And then he and the ruins vanished. That's how you read that sentence, bro. When I added that piece to the campus, it pointed to the far north where the dreaded hate song tower stands. This time I heard Princess Eclair's voice more clearly than before. I will rescue the princess. I will be super. And then I'll, 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 well, I'll figure the rest out later. Anyway, I headed back here to Rockport after that. I'm making my final preparations for my final battle now. I'm a little nervous, bro. But that's what I've been up to anyway. Wanna hear about something else and listen to the shitty Luigi accent more? No. If you want to hear what I be- Alright, I'll stop. <laughs> I can't keep that up. I'm screaming. I wonder what future is plotted for us by he who holds the compass. For I must deliver something. My Luigi's not as, as good as my Wario. Well, yeah, I haven't checked this today. Alright. I gotta win once, come on. Nope. Well, no number matched. I don't know what's worse, my Luigi voice or my Toad voice. At least the Luigi voice I can do for an extended amount of time. The Toad voice kills my vocal cords after like 20 seconds. Oh wait, I'm gonna go here first. So this would explain why all the Koopa villains were here, because they're scouting the place out.
So, I mean, they have the final crystal star, so we're going to the moon. Oh no, it's a snow area. <laughs> oh no. I'm very bad at anything involving snow or ice. Okay. Wow, no way. What's wrong with that map? The last crystal star is... That ain't right. Mm. What this map indicates is true. The location of the final star is... The moon! The moon? That's where Princess Peach is stuck? Yeah, remember? Seems suspicious, huh? Mm. The problem here is... How does one get to the moon? Quite a conundrum. Give me a moment to look into this. Excuse me, please. This shouldn't take long. Ah. Looking into this may take a little time, so come back in a bit, alright? Oh. What do I do in the meantime? Zip toed verified. What's up, Super Sleuth? I heard you uncovered my imposter. You're the best, man, seriously. See, when you get as big a star as Zip toed, these sorts of things happen all the time. It's the biz. But man alive, for a no-name like you to brave danger and find my imposter reminds me of a younger yet less successful me. So yeah, as for me, I'm headed to Toad Town to film my next leading role. The soon-to-be hit film on Golden Toad 2. It'll be huge. I hear you're an adventurer or something. So I'll leave you with a line from my last flick. Toad Warrior. You're cool, baby, but I'm cooler. Best of luck, kid. The real zip toad. Um, you know, one thing I haven't done in a while, which I should probably do. Okay, aside from that. I guess there's a bunch of stuff here that I can access now that I probably should have come back for sooner, but what is this? Oh. <laughs> You've come quite a ways. This is Shet Ripper's adjustment house. If you think you want to change your stats or your partner's ranks, then I can adjust those things for the low price of 39 coins, so who needs some adjustment? Wait, adjust Mario's stats? What do you mean? What does that mean? Oh. Oh. No, but see, that goes down. Oh, I see. You need to confirm something to boost and then something to lower. Uh, that's fine. Interesting. All my partners are like max rank, so that doesn't matter. That would have been useful <laughs> earlier. Um, the other thing I had I didn't check is if the mystic. I haven't seen the mystic pop up for a while. Oh wait, this is the wrong thing. Hold on. This is the one I'm supposed to go through. Cool. 
cast a spell. The special path. I got money. It's probably because the spell ran out, which it lasted a good amount of the game. Yeah, good. It's alright, I've only been playing platformers since the age of four. I honestly don't remember when I first started. Like, that's how long I've been playing <laughs> these kind of games. The earliest memories of playing Mario Brothers. This is why I just make visceral noises when I play platformers. It's just because they're so ingrained into me that I just feel absolutely horrendous if I make the simplest of mistakes. No other genre does this to me. you do with the rest of these. There's got to be a reason there's still more of them to collect despite... Oh wait, but Yoshi can't... Honest can't go that way. At least I don't think so. No, it doesn't work. Um, how would I get over there? Hmm. Oh, it's the pipe. No, I see. So this one, realistically, I couldn't have done until now. I thought there was going to be like another mystic vendor or something. Oh well. I'll explore the underground because, yeah, there's probably a bunch of loose ends. So at the start, I wasn't really aware of this whole, like, hidden panel thing. Yes, yeah, so this is who I wanted to visit. Um, Peekaboo, make HP visible. Flower saver, flower saver plus. That's a good one. Oh, it's partner. Still. This is what we want, partner plus, because that will make Honus's, like, attack 
kind of crazy. This one's probably another good one. If he's doing two per ground pound hit, that is insane. I think it'll be funny to those that kind of just don't watch the full series of this and just skip ahead and I'm calling this Yoshi Ponus. But that's the Yoshi's name. Like, I called him Ponus. So I'm not making it up. definitely make the time to buy items that do AoE damage. Um, what is this for? Gold bar? Gold bar times three. I don't know what this does. Sorry. They don't sell combat items. <laughs> you wanna ask something of no. That's the old info thing. I'm good. That must mean there's still quite a few star pieces that I haven't gotten. I would imagine you can buy all the badges in that shop. spot. Whoops. Gotta be a reason I'm allowed here. I'm not sure how to get past this. Why would this be here? Okay. 
Unless I can blow a hole in that wall. No. Yeah, weird. Why is this here? Alright, I give up. I tried. I guess that's my cue to go. See, that's how you get that. Okay. Hi, it's me again, Toadette. Nice to see you again. Way to find the Ultra Hammer. Now your hammer will have even more attack power. And you can also use a new hammer technique. Let's practice it right away. It's like with the Hoot Super Hammer, so no pro prop. Jeez, I can't read anymore. Hold down B and rotate until your body gets twisty, then release your Ultra Hammer. Remember to twist a lot. Way to go, you got it. Are you clear? Yep. Alright, you've mastered the Ultra Hammer. Using your Ultra Hammer, you can break blocks made out of stuff like this. Swing it like normal to break smaller stuff. But use the method to break bigger things. You can use the Ultra Hammer in battle. Um, this is kind of sad. This is the last time I'll get to see you, Mario. Definitely save Princess Peach, okay? And, uh, be careful on your quest. <laughs> she looks so sad. Okay. Well, see, now I have to see what this is. one right here. Or something else. Wait, it's not here. Hold on. It is here. I remember there was a boat symbol. Yeah. What is what is this going to achieve? Oh, okay, this. But there's still more to do. Let's Mario use up to two items in a row during battle. Ooh. 
that is useful. Damn. Especially if they are damaging items. I could also use it to stack defense on both Mario and uh, the partner. How much does that badge cost to use? Oh, three. Easy. Yeah, definitely want that. That is a very good power. I haven't really... Oh, but that one's free anyway. Uh, yeah, I, I like my badge setup. The good mix of utility. Ah, excellent timing. I finally have it, Mario. I found a way that might just get you to the moon. You must go to Far Outpost and you must use the cannon there. And it will blast you. Wow, we're using a cannon to blast ourselves to the moon? Yeah, extreme. I know how it sounds, really. To be honest, I'm not entirely sure of the, all the details. Accounts from Far Outpost speak of a device that can launch anything anywhere. Even to the moon. This is gonna be so cool. Just point the way. Where is the far outpost? I believe there's a pipe. It's a far outpost somewhere beneath the rope port. But I'm not sure of the exact location. Yes, I believe it was hidden for some reason. If my information is correct, you'll need something called an ultra hammer to get it. An ultra hammer? Hey, right on. We already got one of those. Ah, well, I see. That certainly changes the subject now, doesn't it? Well, use that Ultra Hammer to find the pipe to Far Outpost, then. Get on it. Yeah, you got it, Prof. Far Outpost, charge! Oh, yes, one more thing you should be aware of. The bombs who live there are... sort of a surly bunch. They may not let you use their cannon. You may have to negotiate with them. In any case, that's your problem. Good luck. Get that last crystal star. I'm guessing it's on the west side of town, because if it was on this side, I probably would have seen it. That's not cool. <laughs> How was I supposed to know it was there? That's just not fair. No, but... Paddle. That's a Koopa Troll, a Koopa Trooper who protects himself with spiked armor. Max HP 6, attack 4, defense 2. If it attacks with its shell with its head, then sometimes charges up for a fist move. Plus, if you take too long to win, it'll call reinforcements. Yeah, sort of gnarly, huh? It's one of the worst Bowser's... One of the... I can't read anymore. It's one of the worst of Bowser's guys. Koopa Troopers dream of being Koopa Trolls. Hey, and by the way... What do you think Bowser's doing now anyway? Eating? Hammer. Oh wow, he got one shot. Well, that's just lucky.
Oh, look, I guess. Oh, never mind. Okay, so there's a big X here. No? Vivian? Nope. Weird. That's probably for something else. Go away. <laughs> hey, I hate Hammer Bros. Oh, it looks like there were multiple... Well, hang on. This is different. Oh, I see what it is now. Good! No, that, that, that's exactly what I wanted to happen. No, I need to do this. Oh wow, completely defended. I thought Piercing Blow was supposed to ignore... Okay, there we go. Jeez. What do you mean, Lucky? <laughs> oh, whatever, man. Come on, Vivian. What? What is happening? What is happening? What is happening? What? Dude, what is going on? <laughs> Why is this thing refusing to take damage? What do you mean? <laughs> what is going on? Oh my god. What was that? I hope that's not going to be a common thing moving forward. There's like six attacks back to back that didn't work. This had better be worth it or I'm going to be slightly annoyed. Uh, I guess that's... The problem is I don't have the badge points to equip this stuff. Okay, see, now I need to visit an inn. Don't you dare. I'm 
no, like, it'd be silly if the player finished the game too quickly. Shoots the moon. Okay. I'm curious if this is like the final chapter or if this is the second last chapter. It's stupid cold out here. Come on, Gonzalez, let's move. The fire outpost should be just up ahead, I think. Well, this is anything like uh, snow levels by face. This is going to be suffering. probably going to be very, very annoying variants of this. Okay, so I am going to tattle, and I'm going to use special on them. That's an ice puff. It's a mean snow cloud that appears in cold areas. Max HP 9, attack 4, defense 0. It sweeps down and uses cold breath to attack. Trust me, it's not refreshing. That cold breath can freeze us, so try to avoid it. Also, if we touch it when it's storing cold energy, we'll get hurt. Isn't that super weak? And it gets worse. It'll absorb any ice attacks we throw at it. They're vulnerable to fire, so let's try that, maybe. Oh, so this is... Okay, well... See, Vivian is going to be key here. Makes sense. Nice drawing. <laughs> oh, they are worth it. That's decent XP. Vivian, you're up. I wonder if it's going to punish me for hitting these with the uh, ammo. Ah, oh, come on. Fiery Jinx. Oh, that's cool. Press the buttons in order as they appear on screen. Oh. My bad. I needed to do it quickly. 
That's fine. Now I know. I thought it was gonna be like a time thing, but it's actually just do it quick. Okay, now I know. level up anyway. It's gonna go to badge points because I want some of those more interesting badges. Long the partners have one more attack is probably the one I'm gonna go for. Mind you, if I take a hit to health, I could probably equip it now. Um, like, that's three. Wait, not that. Where is it? Get rid of that, and then... There we go. Cool. My partners are stronger now. Okay, so... Well, tattle and then just do art attack. That's a Frost Piranha. It's a cool customer with strong ice powers. Max HP 10, attack 5, defense 0. Its frozen breath attack can freeze us, so try to mobilize it first. It's weak against fire attacks too, so use them as well. That said, don't even think about using ice attacks. It'll absorb those. Okay. Has a chance of defeating enemies in a single blow. Mm -hmm. yeah. I don't know about that. I'll go with something actually reliable. That'll do. Yeah, so this is 100% Vivian's chapter to shine. I don't mind fighting things. Damn it, I was trying to hit it with hammer. Okay, um... It's probably a waste to do that. kind of scary because it's AoE. This is annoying. You know what? Wow. 
<laughs> not risking it. Alright, go Vivian. Oh, damn, Vivian. That's a hell of an attack. Okay, get rid of that thing. That thing is probably the more threatening enemy. Oh, but it's just going to increase my attack, which, who cares. I would have rather the double XP, that would have been good. So annoying to hit with the hammer. I'm not wasting any time. This is. Yeah, it's gonna do too much damage otherwise. Worst comes to worst, Vivian finishes it off. Yeah, 20 XP that was worth doing. Eh. I mean, having more partner HP is probably not a bad idea. But I think I'm gonna go with just make Mario hit like a truck. Oh, wow. Alright, we made it. So, they're not going to be friendly, that's what was said. So, this is Fire Outpost. Where do you think the others keep that cannon of theirs? Well, only one way to find out. Let's get started by talking to the villagers. Alright. This is Babam Village. Da Bluey! There is nothing here. Da Blamo! As you can guess from my Kablami reserve demeanor, many babombs only open up to other babombs. That's so. Your babomb companion will understand. Karako! Hello there, traveler. First time in Far Outpost Kabui. What? Far Outpost Cannon? Wow, I apologize for that. No, I had a distraction. It's, it's nothing, Kapawi. Interesting. It's closed. Snow is rare for you, Bakak. In the far outpost, it falls all year round. Bak bang. I like watching it shine in glow of sunset. Baboomba. Welcome to Far Outpost. Whoa, that is quite good lip warmer you have got. Okay, now I'll give you my special mustache viewing personality analysis, yes? Ah, hmm, yes, 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 hmm, yes, yes, I, I have got it now. Your bushy broom means... That you are stubborn and selfish, man. How did I know? I have certain experience with mustaches like that, you see. So none of them are going to help, really? We are the Chili Wanderers, the Traveling Sisters 3. We came to the far outpost for skiing and ice skating, but there's nothing here. It's cold, too cold. 
I told you we should have at least checked the guidebook before we came here. I make big snow bob today. Maybe I am big as him someday. Papawi. But I do not want the melting to happen to me. Papoom. Oh, look who it is. Ah, Monsieur de la Moustache. I have tried too many times to talk to the girl in the inn, and she kicked me out, say incroyable. So now I must use the heat of my feelings for her to melt the snow. Ah, achoo. Oh, yes, shitty French accent. Make body and mind better. Yes, welcome to the inn. Wait, so he just didn't pay up? She didn't refuse me, I just paid. Did you get a good night's sleep? Please enjoy a meal made by Chef Zesty featuring local ingredients if you're hungry. Take care and see you again. Did I just get free butter? Space food, never mind. Excuse me for thinking it was just a stick of butter. I mean, I'm fine with that. I left you a present. Alright, so I think what I'm gonna do... Assuming there's AoE items. Yep. Okay, so what I'm gonna do... If I have HP, that's nothing. So that's not useful. Wow, that's cool. That one. Okay, so for this, what I'm going to do now... I am going to buy these. This will help me out with any battle that's just annoying when I have to take out. I don't want that! <laughs> We have enemies that... If it didn't take up an inventory slot... An inventory slot that is important... Sure, but like... I suppose it's a subsidized cost. Okay, there we go. Oh, there's the cannon. I know nothing, Shabui. I know nothing about the local cannon lovingly nicknamed Big Bob Shashum. Yes, what business do I have here? What, a cannon? No such thing is here. Now listen here, you're the mayor, hmm? How can an official like you lie that way? Oh boy, I know I saw a cannon the last time I was here, so do not lie, sir. Shush, you called yourself a bomb. -bom. I spit at you! You know the rules. There is to be no mention of the cannon to non bob -boms. No mention! We must not allow it to be used for evil. Of course I know all that, you great blowhard. But we must use that cannon to get them to the moon, old boy. And if we don't, sir, the world could end. Mm, aha, the cool world could end? Um, well, we do not. We cannot have that now. Still, you cannot use cannon right now because of certain circumstances. Circumstances? We must have the permission of Gold Bob to use that cannon. He is the one who started this whole blasting things to faraway places policy. Once he got rich, he let business slide and does not start it up again. 
Maybe. Also, General White was the one who devoted himself to operation of cannon. But he was so depressed by losing of that job that he took cannon key and ran off to some settlement far, far away. Old Bob and General White. Yes, that is correct. If you want to use cannon, you must find Gold Bob and General Wright. Very well then, we can't give up now, old boy. Mario, the search is on. Let's go find those two bombs. Well, once you find them, come back and talk to me. Uh-oh, is there a quick way out of here? See, I see an empty house, but I don't believe this is an empty house. Okay, there we go. It's never an empty house. Um. Oh, man. Well, I guess it's not bad, because even if things respawn, the XP here is, is great. It's probably worthwhile to fight, you know? Got you! Um... I mean, with this, you know, this is worthwhile to do this. Oh, jeez, I almost missed. <laughs> yeah, I mean, 20, 20 XP for one fight is, is insane. Got you. All right, you're up, Vivian. I also gotta remember that I can double dip with items. Alright, one more battle. Oh, damn it. How many? Two. Not worth it. It's immune to ice. Which. Oh, it didn't freeze me. It's fine. No, not that. Was that 10? No, that was only 8. Oh, damn. Alright, next battle, for sure.
Okay, um, I'm gonna use the flower points. Oh, it missed. That's okay. It'll still work. There's a level up happening anyway, so it doesn't matter if I spent all the flower points. I think back to Crypt Master and just like how much I had to go through to just make my characters even the smallest amount stronger. This is like just. I've leveled up multiple times and I just feel a lot stronger. Okay, so I want Power Plus. I need one more level. And then that'll boost Mario's attack again. He's going to hit super hard. I'm okay with this. Not gonna mess around. Because I'll just stay at an inn and then it'll reset this anyway. That was terrible. This is a great area to grind. I got this one. Then Vivian can finish you off. Not giving as much, but still decent. Wow. I hope there'll be a fast travel pipe. I guess we'll see. Oh no, but it only appears once you get the crystal star. Never mind. I'm not fighting this. I'm not fighting this. This is a waste of time if it keeps doing that lucky thing. On the topic of lucky, just reminded me, there's going to be a movie coming out that's like a biopic of uh, Pharrell Williams. And it's like, okay, well, yeah, that's just a documentary on the life of an artist. Except it's a Lego movie. <laughs> just... For no reason. Did, I, did that thing just tell me to be more organized? How about... When you remaster a game, lift the item cap. Because this game is no longer 25 years old. How about that? Alright, to be fair, the game's probably like 20 years old, not 25. But still. I hate that there are so many things that are having anniversary releases right now. Like the South Park movie. It's having a 25th anniversary cinematic run. That movie is 25 years old. The Lion King, 30th anniversary. Cave Story, 20th anniversary. Just, man. I 
I have not played Cave Story in a very long time. Start reminding you of how old you are. Hey, I'm in the same boat as well. The South Park movie being 25 years old, that is wild. Okay, here we go. Gold Bob. Good day to you, Gonzales. What can I do for you? What's that you say? You must use the cannon in Far Outpost to save the world? Hmm, well, that is rather a pickle, isn't it? Very well, then. I certainly owe you a favor or two, hmm? Yes, I should say. The truth is, I'd hope to resume my business with that cannon someday. And just between us... I only stopped because the wife said she didn't like the noise. Sadly, it takes a hefty bit of coin to get that cannon working, so... I'll need you to demonstrate just how much you want to use that cannon. If it were a matter of money, just how much would you pay? Nothing. Something for nothing? Ha! <laughs> money makes the world spin. You're a bit naive, I'm afraid. Why don't you come back when you learn a bit about the way of the world? Oh, I see. Capitalist bob -omb. Me it back. I thought you might be. Let me ask you one more time. How much money would you pay? One. One coin? Do you mock me? Why not just slap me with your shoe and be done? This will not do. No, no. Why don't you come back later with a new attitude? 64. 64 coins, you seem to be understanding the value of my services. Well, I just can't abide that. Why don't you come back later? I'm not gonna give him a thousand coins, are you out of your mind? Oh god. What, you'd pay every coin you own? All of them? You are, really? So, really? No. So you're not serious then, well I understand. Oh my god. Is it really going to make me fork over all the money? Yes, the player must be drained of all of his resources. <sighs> well, I suppose I'm just surprised to hear you say that. Staggered, actually. You know... That means you'll be left with zero coins, with absolutely nothing. You know that, don't you? Yes. I mean, think of it, man. If you spent all your coins, and I mean all of them, you would certainly face a great deal of difficulty down the road. Yes. But hold on. I, I want to make sure you're doing this fully aware of the consequences. Are you sure you won't regret this later? Absolutely sure. Yes. You won't say just kidding later on or some sort of tomfoolery like that. I can really take them all, really? If I say no, no. So you're not- <laughs> Oh, it's gonna make me hand over all my money. Yep. Yes. Yes! Yes! All right, then. Oh, you got to be... You have got to be kidding. Hey, Verna, how's it going? Hmm, well, you've certainly shown me something, sir. So, I give my permission for you to activate the Far Outpost Cannon. Oh, and I wasn't serious earlier, my dear fellow. How could I take your money? Ha 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 ha! It's a shame, I suppose, but I'll return your money. Okay. Now, soldier on, my boy! Okay, I have his permission. And then... I don't remember who the other one was. 
An unknown businessman was taken into custody today. I tried to... Blah, 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 blah. No. I'm trying to think. The only other unique bob -omb I can think of is the pirate bob -omb, but I don't think it's that one. I'm terrible with names, so I don't remember. Well, I'll go to its chapter. I'll we'll see if that's the bob -omb I need to talk to. Unless it's a bob -omb somewhere in Redport. I can't think of one. There wasn't one in chapter one, two, maybe three, not four. So if it's not there, it's got to be in three. Let's have a look around. We'll get Ponus out. Cool graphics. Yeah, the game is neat. It's a good remake. Oh, it's the investment rat. Yeah, Mario, it's me, Lumpy. Don't you remember? I went to Dry Dry Desert to drill for oil. Ring a bell? Hi. Hi. I did it! I totally struck oil! There were times that I was covered in dust, weak, and ready to give up. But, but, but I never lost sight of the dream, and one day I finally seized it. And you believed in me all this time, Mario. You sure did. Thank you so much. I want to return your loan for a little more than just to show my appreciation. Please take these 300 coins. Boy, thanks for everything. Now you have some capital to start your own venture. Just don't let your dream die, Mario. I know you'll make it someday, just like I did. And also, I uh, kept the journal on my trip. Do you want to read it? Oh my god. The night before, I'm finally off tomorrow. I filled my pack with cheese and I'm ready to go. My to-do list is crossed off. I owe so much of much to all my investors, not just money. The old get-rich-quick dream, but this is different. I have a reason. See, I owe it to my hometown. It's so cold there. People are constantly shivering. If I find oil and send it there, then people can use it to heat their homes. Oil will make me rich and them happy. It seems to be the perfect goal, right? I have always, always had this dream since I was very small. Of course, getting rich is a big part of it too, but who doesn't want money? Money, money, cover me with it, please. Ha! Well, enough for tonight. <laughs> yeah, that's a little embarrassing. Read another. The buzzer friend. Why did it have to turn out like this? I got to Toad Town by boat, then took a train to the foot of Mount Rugged. Unfortunately, you can only get from Mount Rugged to Dry Dry Desert on foot. foot. And tragedy waited for me as I slogged faithfully up that winding trail. It was huge. It was a huge awful venture. I had read about it in my travel brochures. This buzzer accosted all travelers on Mount Rugged. I hightailed it, but buzzer had me in its sights. I felt a piercing jolt as its claws dug into my backpack. After dropping me onto a cliff, Buzzer seemed to forget me and disappear. I let out a sigh of relief, but when I touched my back, I noticed my pack was gone. My pack! In it was all my food and money to start the operation. No! That mangy bug Buzzer made off with everything of importance to me. 
All I have left is this journal, a shovel to dig for oil, and my life. But perhaps living is miracle enough, or so I'd like to believe. But now I can't turn back. I climb down the mountain to the desert. The dry, dry desert sprawls out before me, beckoning dreamers and fools. I am both, and I set out with a heart full of dread. I hope this has like a comedic. <laughs> a helping hand. I am now in a place called Dry Dry Outpost. Someone pulled me, lifeless and parched, from the merciless desert floor. It was a Cooper with a fine mustache named Colorado, an angel in a pith helmet. He was a world-traveling adventurer, archaeologist. I told him about Buzzer, and my quest for oil, and my dreams of riches and warmth for my people. After I spoke at length, he gave me food and water. I asked him why he should be so kind, and he looked into the distance and said, Turning one's back on an ambitious dreamer invites others to do the same to you, old boy. I just, I just want to believe in every dream this sad old world can muster. This guy, he still chases his own dreams, dusty dreams of archaeology. We stayed up all night discussing each other's dreams. It was great. Okay. <laughs> I'm reading it. A reliable guide. Now I am at a desert oasis. After Colorado left, I set out from Dry Dry Outpost to find my digging point. But the desert is so wide, it's impossible to find anything without a guide. I had no idea where I was going, and my head was splitting in the heat. My throat was burning and scratchy. Was I awake? Was I asleep? I heard a voice calling to me from far away. Hey, are you a nice guy? If you're a nice guy, then give me something nice. I didn't have the food or water I had received from Colorado. I had nothing. Why do you lie here? If you are a nice guy, give me a nice thing and I will help. I croaked. All I have is... All I have is my dream. When I next awoke, I was at the oasis. You're awake, I heard. There was a little mouser there in a grey headscarf. My name is Mustafa. You had nothing to give, but I got something nice anyway. I don't know how or why, but it seems I'd been saved by yet another stranger. Do you need a guide? If there is somewhere you want to go, I will take you. Unbelievable, I actually found a reliable guide. I think it's referring to older characters. The digging point. We're here. I'm finally at the spot where I'm supposed to dig for oil. I was told to draw a line from a blue cactus to a cactus-like rock. I feel like this is referencing uh, Paper Mario 64, but it's been so long since I last played that game that I don't quite remember. Colorado rings a bell. I went north to... I went north a precise distance from the exact termination point. I ended up here at a point between dry dry ruins and the oasis. Mustafa has guided me this far with skill and bravery. He said, you are a nice guy. Your dream will come true. Mustafa believes this. He left then, leaving me to fight this battle on my own. All I have to do is dig here until I find oil. That's all. I stocked up on lemons and limes at the oasis, so I should last a few days. I must find that oil. Second last one. The long dig. I am digging for oil now, and my hand shakes as I write these. Perhaps final words. I've been digging from sun up to sun down, but still no sign of that sweet brood. Maybe I've just picked up a dry spot in this cursed spot, in this cursed desert. But I'm sure this is where my lovely told me to dig. Yes, I'm sure of it. There's no more food or water. Or well, even my hopes have dwindled to nothing. Ah, this is it. My dream dies here with me under these unforgiving skies. My dream. My. My? Wait, no, this is not it. My dream is of something else. Yes, something else. Dig. Keep digging. I must keep digging. Arms move. Body work. Find oil. I am now on a boat back to Deer Rogueport. I did it. I finally struck oil in that dry desert. I have left the day-to-day -day operation to my men in the field and now return home. It all came true. Striking it rich, finding oil, my dream. But somewhere along the way, this became more than just my dream. So many people have helped to make this dream happen. So many. 
You had nothing to give, but I got something nice anyway. Dear Mustafa, I just want to believe in every dream this sad world can muster. Ah, Colorado. People who lent me money and gave me food and showed me the way. So many hands reaching out to help me. I must do something for all of them. That feeling has pushed me even harder. I must share this feeling with the people who helped me as I struggled. I must share these words that have seared themselves into my heart. Dreams come true, Lumpy. No, that's it. Well, I'll just be here thinking of what to do next. Say hi anytime. Um, hold on. Yeah, I'm guessing that was referencing Paper Mario 64. I don't know why, like, Colorado rings a bell. Oh, hello. Nah. Don't want that. These are just general bombs. And next episode, like okay, a general white. It wouldn't surprise me if it was some quiet, peaceful town. Oh. Wait, really? Maybe he is in chapter one. Just checking. bomb in this village though. Hang on. Otherwise what else counts as a peaceful I've been playing Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door a lot lately. I wasn't sure at first, but that game is awesome. I just beat it every chapter. Totally cool ending. I loved it. It was so worth the money. Think there'll be a sequel? If not, I hope they make a Paper Luigi game. Yeah, I bet that'd be awesome too. Wow, kid, you just broke the fourth wall. I thought he was talking about a Game Boy Advance originally, but I guess he moved on to, um, Thousand Year Door. There's no... well... Yeah, see, this is why I thought. I thought... peaceful. Who would General White be? Oh, if it isn't Murphy! Oh, I thought you say General White. Uh, General, uh, I think I've seen him, but he doesn't seem to be around now. I think he may have possibly said he might head south to a more tropical locale. Freaky Key? Yep, that was it. Yep. That might possibly, perhaps, could be it. I forgot what voice I gave him. It was probably my shitty old man voice, like this. <laughs> I don't know.
but see, this is where I went. And what, because I didn't go here? To the first town now. Well, there's a teapot here. General White, yeah, he was here until a second ago. But he took off right quick. He said he was going to a city that floats in the sky or something. Oh, I see what's happening. Okay, we're going to have to visit every chapter. And then he's just going to end up going to the snow area. Calling it now. He's just gonna. He's just gonna end up being at the cannon ultimately. <laughs> Who looks important enough to know? Probably the accountant mouse. Wow. Oh, uh, this is no good. No one will solve my trouble. Oh, never mind. No. Thank you, Greg Gonzalez. No, thank you, Mario. You're a true champion. I don't know if this is the same. General White? Oh, you must mean that White bob bomb huh? Yeah, he used to come here all the time. But I haven't seen him lately. Now that I think about it, I think he headed off to some huge tree. Yeah. Good. Go to every chapter. You just missed him. <laughs> Ugh, I, yeah, I'm gonna have to revisit every chapter. And then it's gonna send me to chapter four and then eventually be like yeah go to the cannon and he'll be there i mean at least it's not too far from the actual pipe <laughs> uh oh that little punio he's always so darn squishy-washy. That's oh, not you. More scolding from the world's largest grandma. When will it stop? Ah, oh, Punio's getting in trouble with the elder. That's no fun for me. Hey, hey, Mario, can't you play with me instead? Sorry, too busy. That's so cheap, Mario. Cheetah, cheetah, this wasn't any fun at all. It wasn't meant to be. Petunia has a collection of many beautiful eggs. I wonder which... Oh... That's why she was with an egg. Well. Welcome to the Great Tree. Eh, General White. Yeah, he's an old babom with this great mustache. But I have no idea where he went. He said he was going somewhere dark. I swear if it's my companion, I'm gonna lose it. <laughs> Well, but I guess he's not a white bomb, so maybe not. He does have a mustache. the family. Ah, oh, Mario, did you find what you were looking for? Keep looking no matter where the road takes you, never give up. But don't worry yourself 
out either. You must keep body and mind healthy. Feel free to visit any time. The children are always happy to see you, as am I. They're no longer orphans. Who's the mayor here? I think it was you. Good day, I mean, uh, good dusk or whatever. I never know what time it is in this weird light. Then again, I don't know what day it is because I never leave this room. Okay, it's not you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Let's well, savior out town, Mario! Yes, actually, there was a General White around here for a while. Curious fellow, he came here for a bit of a rest, but still looked tired all the time. Then one day, he just up and left. I'm afraid I don't know where. He was mumbling something about a cannon. And, uh, and, 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 yes, go back to the chapter that you were doing originally. Why are you here? Why have you revisited all those areas you've been to previously? Silly player, go back to your goal at hand. The world is going to end if you don't go back to the cannon. Uh, it's made me backtrack everywhere. All right. This wouldn't be so bad if there was the pipe already, but... Oh well. It's fine, I can do a little more grinding. I'm going to hit save because it has been a while. <laughs> Alright Vivian, you're up. Rockhawk, you? Is it the so-called Great Gonzalez? Uh. Well, it's me, your worst nightmare, the new and improved Rockhawk. Don't think I forgot you, punk. I'm reborn, you coward. My training regimen would blow your mind. I'm on the fast track back to the top, and ain't nobody gonna get in my way. Rock. And still on rainy days, I feel the bruises of your hammer of shame left on this bod, and I feel the rage again. If you ever show your face in the ring again, I'll beat you so bad your mama won't even recognize you. Remember the rock. All right. How do people get my email? Um... Uh, let's just do this. It's fine. It's three of them. It's worth it. <laughs> last one wasn't, wasn't anything. Don't worry about that last one. Damage taken. All right. 
Subdivision. I gotta be quick with this. Oh, crap. That was dumb. I pressed the button twice. It's alright, Mario's powered up enough that it doesn't matter. Increase his power again. Ah, oh, the tree got in the way. How many? Okay, this is fine. I'm not quick enough. I'm getting rid of this thing first. Oh, that's not cool. Okay. all the times to get it. <laughs> it's the worst time to get it. Yeah. I was trying not to. Damn, my audience got bankrupted. Okay, well, since I don't have the flower power heart attack. this now that I don't- Ah, oh, damn it! <laughs> Stupid thing got in my way. Okay, well, there's one way to deal with this easily. Oh. Well, that's just disappointing. I need flower power to do it. Fine, this will work. And I'll just buy two more. It's probably worthwhile grinding it out, to be honest. Doing that battle again will level me up. Hang on. I'm gonna do that battle again. Like that just to sell it. Oh, 
Don't give me a bonus item. No, that's it. We're good. I'll go do that fight quickly. I'll have my... Yeah, I have my special back, so I just use the special. Easy level up. Oh, how did, how did that miss? Doesn't matter, I'm just gonna use the art. And I just get replenished anyway. <laughs> give, me, give me them badge points. And now I can up Mario's power again. Mario has become an A-list star. Next battle, Mario's crowd and stage get even bigger. Oh. Um, where is it? Power uh, plus. There we go. This is gonna be cool. Alright, now we can move on. Where's this general white? Oh, you have permission to use the cannon. You must have met up with Gold Bob. That all that remains is General White. What? You cannot find the general? Huh. Oh, that mustache gentleman, where has he gone to? This makes trouble for us. We definitely need him. Otherwise we cannot even operate that thing. So what to do? This was this was his house. <laughs> Wake up. <laughs> what is this? He's definitely still asleep. Oh. No, look look what's happening to him. We're crushing him. No? This, this is the joke, like I actually have to crush him. What a heavy sleeper. <laughs> that's, a, that's not gonna wake him up. Alright, do I hide? <sighs> okay, well. I can't think of anything else to do. He's still sawing logs. Try again. He couldn't be more asleep. He's counting sheep. He woke. Nah. Still asleep. Sleeping like a stashed baby. Not even budging. Try again. He's... Still snoring away. Try one more time. 
<lacht> ist das? Ach, so. Snorf. Now, who are you? I am tired. I do not need your attention. I just want to sleep as it is all hopeless. Hot? That mustache, that hat, and that hammer even. Hot, hot. I've been looking everywhere for you. Why? Well, to bring Big Bob back online. I had lost my life's work, my very reason to live. I found myself at wit's end, and then the rogue port fortune teller told me. Seek the man with the M on his hat, the one with the hammer and the stash. He will fulfill your dreams. Or something like that. Hut, you need to use the cannon to help you save the entire world. Hip, hip, hurrah! That fortune teller was right. So what are you waiting for? I shall get Big Bob ready, so go tell the mayor. Now get moving, hut, hut! Somebody tell him it was us that went looking everywhere for him. Yeah, I'm with Ponus on this one. <laughs> that was annoying. But General Wright is back, then Big Bob's grand revival cannot be far behind. I could just explode with the light. Now, let us shoot you guys to the moon. Yeah, we did it, Gonzalez. Now you follow me. Hurry now, this is the way. Preparations are complete. Big Bob is fire ready. Hot, let's do this. Now you stand here. General Wright is Big Bob ready. Hot, leave it to me. Now men, you know the drill. Load Big Bob. Now, position, positions, everyone. Bring guidance systems online. Online, sir. Online, sir. System check. System check all clear. Prepare Big Bob's detonation sequence. Open outer hatch. Opening hatch, sir. Opening hatch. Open inner shutters. Opening shutter, sir. Opening shutter, sir. Lift Big Bob into position. Lifting, sir. Lifting, sir. Fire target, the moon. Direction 75.38, elevation 54.66, range 38 or oh, 389,603. Wind speed 1.08, correct directions 3.03. Correct elevation, 2.39. Target locked. Now open the chamber hatch. Now everyone in. Oh my god. 
It's crowded in here, boom. Stop pushing, Babazoom. Close chamber hatch. <laughs> Conditions all green. Stand by. Okay. It is time. Big Bob Cannon. Fire! Good luck, Mario. <laughs> this is great. Now we're flying to the moon and back. If you be, if you be my baby. Got a ticket to a world. All right, I'll stop. <laughs> wow, that was awesome. Man, who knew adventurers got to do stuff like that? Wow. We're really, truly no fooling on the moon. Let's rock out, Gonzalez. Let's find that last crystal star and save Peach. How are they breathing? We're just going to ignore that? Oh, I mean, that's probably worthwhile. I don't think gradual regeneration is a good thing. Oh, it's even got low gravity. Oh no, there are new enemies here! <laughs> That's a moon cleft. It's your basic cleft living on the moon. Max HP. Yeah, defense 5. Defense is high as usual. Fire attacks don't work against it. If you can turn that over with an explosion, though, its defense goes down to zero. Right, okay. But we have this. One shot. Uh, I mean, yeah, I don't know about the XP. If I level up again, it's going to health. Oh, they're ev they are they are everywhere. Hol holy crap, <laughs> they're relentless. Bobbery. On second thought, this might not be worth it. Okay, flipped it. That's all we want. Just 
better be worth it. Ah, oh, it's a defense shell. Such is the problem with this. I'm good. I think I need to... Yeah. So we can move a... Wow, even Ponus has slowed down. Does this just loop around? Am I imagining it? No, there, there's a... Uh, okay. Jeez. Is it open? It's not open, is it? Oh no, okay, it's fine. <laughs> I thought I needed a key. Question mark. Ooh, it's the base. Oh, the suspicious building, wouldn't you say, old boy? Do be careful there. Eh? Yeah, about that. This is definitely where she's being held. Who's that dude? Wow, that's Mario. So let's get him. Yeah, let's get him, dude. I've identified them, right? Okay, well, let's do the title. That's an elite x knot This guy is the creme de la creme of the x knots Max HP 10, attack 5, defense 1. He'll use regular attacks as well as boosting power or size. Elite x knots are tough, but you have to s smack away until they go down. Okay. Well... Get wrecked. Oof, it does four. They weren't kidding. Yeah! Mario, if these X not dweebs are here, that's totally it. Then Princess Peach must be here too, don't you think? And the Crystal Star must be here too. We gotta find it, Mario. Okay, thankfully this is here. Um, I mean, I'm gonna go with Ponus because his attack will be insane. Given it's boosted, so... Be doing eight damage. I'll let Ponus handle the second one. I will handle this one. Oh no, I missed. I messed up. Definitely this one's still going down. Oh wait, it's only doing one. I thought it boosted my... Boosted partner's attack by one. Yeah. 
Let me read that again. Boost partner's attack by one. What's going on? Why is that attack only doing one? Okay, well, that I'm definitely... Um, where is it? What am I giving up for this? I guess... Makes sense, right? Oops. Right. Okay. Midnight brain chat. Midnight brain. Sub level two. I wonder if I'm going to regret not going to sub level one. I'm going to go to sub level one. At least sub level two, let me save. Ah, oh, damn it, I missed. Oh, but these are just normal minions. I've fought them before. Okay. Vivian, you're up. Oh. That attack is great. Oh, it's only five. Uh, guess that wasn't worth it. Oh, damn, there are two badges here. What is this? Hang on, there's a note. Gear's under repair. Okay, I need to find the gear item. Damn it. Well, I mean, the best way to do this is just do that, and then the others, it's, they're not going to do much damage. Yeah, they barely do one damage. This is fine. It's only the uh, the elite one that gives um, experience. The others don't give anything. So what's going on here? The effect of the charm increase your coins threefold. Oh. Whoa! I haven't seen that one yet.
Hmm. No idea. But we don't know what it is, so... I'm sure we'll find out. Alright, I'm going to the left. I have some stuff to do, so I'm not coming in tomorrow, and that's that. When leaving the lab, always do your... Bet, your... wait. Your all-point inspection in the loudest voice possible. Oh, wait. Vivian. Oh, really? I thought it was going to be like a little secret. Never mind. That's an X not PhD. Guys like this invent all the annoying things we fight. 9 HP. Okay. Got it. Damn, that damage I'm doing. I thought maybe there'd be a note with the password. Yeah. Galloping towards the new era of risk-free potions. Participation is not voluntary. Okay. Yeah, look, these are worth fighting. Sure, they both go down. Oh, okay, I see it on the wall. Hey, what? What happened there? What? Do you... Oh, I did it one. Hang on. Yeah, good. Midnight. Midnight brain. Oh, it's one more across. Okay, I see. Eh, I'm good. Oh, 
Let's look at this again. Well. I say the gear. Uh, maybe I should. <laughs> oh, okay, never mind. It's a teleporter. Wow, where is this? Oh, we're in Ragport. The Exmots use that thing to come here from the moon. Ah, uh, very useful. Um, I am gonna go to the inn. I'm not even kidding. <laughs> Perfect, because I'm low on flower points. Well, that makes this a lot easier. down. And here I was trying to get onto that roof. <laughs> Thinking there was a secret. Okay, how do I get this cog then? Oh, maybe Bobbery can do it? I don't think there's any ability. Maybe this? Her power hasn't really been used that often, but I find that of all the partners, she hasn't really had that big of a role. Everyone has their time, and I don't know. Her power is very, very infrequent when you have to use it. I haven't really used her in combat much either. Yeah, no idea. There's gotta be a way to use this. Maybe there's one more ability that I'm missing. Oh wow, no, I just one shot that, okay. That's cool. Holy crap. <laughs> Mario is hitting like a truck.
I didn't even get the, a chance to tattle. Oh, well, hang on. That's a uh, Zed Yucks. It's a genetic improvement over the original Yucks. Max HP is seven, attack is four, defense is zero. Multiple mini, oh, it's the same thing. Sometimes they also restore HP to the main unit, which really burns me up. It doesn't have much HP, but those barriers are often protect it from attacks. Alright. Hey, Quiet Star, how's it going? Even need to. Let me check my badges for a sec. Never let you play Animal Crossing again. Wish that could help. Sort by types. There we go. I have another power plus. If I level up twice, I could. Hmm. That'd be kind of crazy. Hold on. Let's see that. I got this. This will let me get the gear. Um. Oops. Stayed up all night designing a room. Damn. It's alright, as long as you don't have to be functional. Who am I to judge how one spends their time? I've had uh, endeavors that have lasted longer. Oh! <laughs> what the? That was not ex I was not expecting that. Oh my god, that's so cool. Hang on, I want to see all their art. Oh wow. <laughs> this is a nice little easter egg. Today's code. Ugh. Right. Zero one four zero two nine. Zero one four. I'm just gonna take a photo of it. Zero one four zero two nine. How? To turn on power. Left, right, middle. Well, that one's. Yeah, and I just took a photo of it. Alright. 
man, they just know how to just inject a nostalgia directly into my veins. And this will undo it, right? I know it didn't. Oh. Yeah, okay, just undoes it. Alright, um, I am going back up. I learned that, um, the Yoshi partner is a random color as well. And there's almost, like, the same concept as, like, a shiny Pokemon. You can get a Yoshi that's, like, a dark color, which is kind of cool. Yeah. Oh. I messed that up big time. Well, wow. plus one help. Well, I mean, at least it wasted its turn. Oh wait, one of them has a fire flower, that's not good. I'm gonna go for the the badge points and make my attack stronger. I got the feeling this is not the end. Oh, um, I, mean, I guess I may as well just use the one I have. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. I love how they make you think that this entire... It could be a word, it could be anything when it's just this. Zero one four zero two nine. Oh, it's this. Oh, no. Oh, oh, I know what this is already. <laughs> it's going to ask me questions about minor details in the game. <laughs> Who are you, huh? You came here to get the elevator key so you can access the computer room. Yeah, I thought so. Well, then you're going to have to beat me to get it. And if you lose your life, it's mine. You hear me? So what do you say? Mm-hmm, <laughs> you are, you're mine now. Oh, it's not a quiz. All right, no, that's fine. No, wait, it is crap. <laughs> it's a quiz. And here we go, folks, the main event, the 66 trivia quiz off, yay. Hope you were paying to every, paying attention to every little bit of minutia the game has to offer. Question number one. At the very start of the game, when Mario entered the room in the first three seconds, what was the color of the pixel at coordinate 532X72Y? I hate when games, I hate when games do this. It was just like such a common trend with older games. What exactly is hidden here? What? Um... Shit, it's a security key or an elevator key. I got an elevator key. Key. It's the security key to the computer room. Yes. 
It's not! <laughs> what? Three strike? Okay, okay. Three strikes. Question number two. What's the name of the girl in Petalburg who's patiently waiting for Coop's return? Coopy Coo. Yes. Because I made a joke about her. That's how I remember. Okay. Goomba, Lava Bubble, Buzzy Beetle, and Boo. How many... I don't know what a lava bu- what is- what is a lava bubble? Buzzy beetle... It's either four or six. What the- <laughs> Lava bubble. Zero, okay. And then... Buzzy beetle. Okay. Um, Goomba has two, Buzzy Beetle has four, Boo has zero, therefore six. Okay. That was an easy one. It's elementary for non-idiots. Where was the one, the only diamond- what? Diamond Star? Diamond Star? I need a picture of this. What was the Diamond Star? I'm not trying to look up the answer. I just want a, like a visualization of what I'm looking at. Oh wait, the crystal star. Oh. That was Hooktails. Now see, I remember that. I saw the, the, the icon. I knew what it was. Hooktail. I thought it was referring to something else. It should have said diamond, diamond crystal star and I would have known. It's impossible for me to lose, right? What was the name of the... I have no... I have no clue. It's not Prince... I, I'm gonna say Prince Mush. Simple. Okay, good. Ah, you're correct, you jerk. You've already gotten four correct? You're kidding me. Well, fine, I'm gonna toss an extra hard one your way. Are you happy now, sucker? What did Francesca and Frankie from Rogue Port lose on Kill Hall Key? Easy. The ring. No! C correct! That's five correct answers. Crud, you win. I can't believe that I got the one wrong asking me, like, what he's hiding here. What is wrong with me? Like, I know what's wrong with me. I've had a long week and it's, like, 1am. <laughs> but the simplest one. I'm so mad right now, I can hardly see straight. I lose, I lose. Fine. But I really hate you. Take this, you bum. What was the right answer? It was security key. Or elevator key. I guess security key, it's elevator key. The item that I just got. <laughs> I just wasn't sure if I was trying to get to the computer room or the elevator. It was the elevator. Nope. I'm good. Okay, the cog. And then it's left, right, middle. Left, right, middle. Yep. Okay. Left. Right. Middle. Okay. 
Oh, it's like a crane. Oh. Okay, this is kind of cool. I mean, pointless, but cool. Doesn't cost anything to use this. Oh, too early! Way to show incompetence. And I'm just gonna get the uh, other badge. That's it. The clients, eh. How funny would it be if it, like, the hatch opens up and then it's like, you were too greedy. We're going to b just trash every item. I'm gonna. I'm only going to take what I need. I'm not going to take everything. This is like a buffet. It's like you could be that person that just takes everything and, you know, eats till they explode. Or you just take what is reasonable. What is happening? Is this being for real? Very realistic. There we go. That's got that that has to be scripted. There is no way. Yeah, stop. This game trolls you. Like, Paper Mario series always trolls you somehow. It's a staple of the franchise. Do you ever hit something so hard it just explodes into a coin? That's everything. I just gotta... If ever hit someone so hard their ass gets stuck in the ceiling, yes. Oh no. Okay, this is, this is not over by a long shot. What do you mean that was green? What? Oh, I don't know. What? What? What is this room? Why is it punishing me for stepping on green? Am I, am I that tired? That opened up by- no, that's me pressing the d-pad. You put a hole in your wall because you thought your mop was someone standing around the corner. When you turn it, it broke the wall and your mop. 
Well, you know, hitting someone so hard their ass gets stuck in the ceiling. That's just a reference to me playing Yakuza. Not real life. I haven't hit someone so hard that their ass gets stuck in the ceiling. Mind you, one time a relative got annoyed at me, chased me, slipped, and got their butt stuck in the wall. So, I mean, it's not the ceiling, but... What is this room?! Look at the ref I, I'm either tired or like, I don't see. Green is safe. Oh no, I see. I see what's going on now. It's a time thing. Okay. Okay. <laughs> what? But why is it shocking me when I step onto the first one? That shouldn't happen. You saw that? Like I was stepping onto the green. Uh oh! I don't. I don't want this. I don't want this. I don't want this. I don't want this. That was some janky hitbox there. I hate this. It's speeding up. Is it? Oh my god, it's getting smaller and it's speeding up. Oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> this, is, this is a good thing to do at like 1.30 in the morning. If only it allowed me to use the D-pad, but no, it brings up the menu. I swear I would have had a conniption if that shocked me again. How much health? Okay, I, I lost 10 health just in this room alone. Uh, I'm not going to mess with that until I have instructions. One would think that, like, Poops and his uh, Band-Aid are a result of my incompetence. I'm gonna pick a, a friend that doesn't look so bad at... <laughs> there we go. Oh, here we go. Okay. Now, this is... Peach's room. So wait, can Mario pop into the shower? Not Peach, clearly. <laughs> I knew it. There was no way. Very close to leveling up. Oh, you've got to be kidding. There's four key cards to get. Wait, Mario can't take a shower? I'm 
don't know what I'm doing. What am I trying to do here? I was half expecting there to be a star piece here. I can't say I've ever broken something in a comedic way. My cousin did set uh, fire to curtains once. There was a spider on the wall. And he wanted to get rid of it, so instead of being normal and, you know, disposing of it, he got, um, some hairspray, said watch this, got a lighter out, and made a blowtorch with the hairspray, and he took out the spider, but then the, um, the curtains caught on fire. You know, he's panicking. My aunt hears the commotion, comes into the room, sees the curtain on fire, her first instinct is not to go get something to put the fire out. She leaves the room, comes back with a broom, and breaks the broom on my cousin's butt. Then she goes and gets something to deal with the fire. Priorities. I guess I'm just missing one more. Hmm. I think he and you would be great friends. He's, I don't think he's like that anymore. All oh, right, that's just. It's just young. When you're younger. I don't think I went to the far right of sub-level 2. Well... They are clearly guarding something. Um, since I'm gonna level up anyway, let's just do that. I'm going for the badge points. I might regret this later, but worse comes to worse. If I feel like I don't have enough health, I can use badge points to get health. So either way, why put it into health when I have two badges that give me health? So if I don't hit the level, then yeah, I just equip the badge that gives me health. And it's almost like as if I did put it into health anyway. Oh, here we go. I love that it's a Famicom disk drive. I think it's a cool... cool thing. Admittedly, like, the discs, they're not great. <laughs> but the unit is pretty cool. And how it has little Mario animations, it's awesome. And also some games sound very different with it. Like, the original Legend of Zelda, how it sounds on that thing is really different.
pushing through. There's no way Princess Peach isn't beyond that door, right? Well, look who's wrong. <laughs> I can't believe that worked. No way that worked. <laughs> That's awesome. I didn't think that would work, that I could hit it through the wall like that, but... There we go. Just throw him over the wall, right? Yeah. There we go. Again, you know, her abilities that not really. I feel like after that chapter, I just haven't seen much of it. Maybe this could be something where like all of them get used. Hang on. So now what? Oh no, I see. This is a... No? Okay, I thought for sure it'd be the twist jump and grab on. What is it then? I doubt it's this. Hmm. Oh, wait, I'm an idiot. Vivian. Duh. There we go. Yeah, good. <laughs> oh, my inner child is dying on the inside right now. Dude, my my five year old self could could have made that jump. Should have waited. <laughs> this is finally it. This is the one where I lose my mind. Is there a galaxy brain move I can do here? No, you can't. Okay, you can't do the uh, the big jump here. I was thinking of doing the big jump and dropping onto it, but then that's just overcomplicating something that is simple. Yes. <laughs> Ooh. 
<laughs> I need to go to bed. <laughs> I need to go to bed. Is that so hard? Uh, just toss this. It's fine. Okay, cool. Now I have big heels. Oh my god. Sorry, I'm making such horrendous noises. Sorry. Okay, I wasn't expecting to be on the cogs. I thought... It's okay. <laughs> I'm gonna lose it. do 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 Oh, it's another one of these. Okay, but this is just wait until it lines up. First try. <laughs> Why, why, why did I do that? <laughs> why did I do that? Oh, you've got, no, no, oh, you've got to be kidding. I can't believe I just did that. I just... I tilted the thing in the wrong direction. <laughs> and it was just... Despair. Convinced I need to go all the way to the top. But then again, where else would I go? Because it feels like it's going to punish me if I don't. Okay, at least this, again, straightforward. Okay, please. Was, was that so hard? Okay, I got that. Now...
At least this fight will be easy. Okay. Uh, what do? Wait, but... Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, my God. I have to... I'm going to have to do this again, aren't I? <laughs> I'm going to have to do this again. Ah! This is... I don't think this is ending tonight. Good. I think I just need to drop down. Hit. Okay, just be patient. I'm gonna swap to Coop. be the value in going in this pipe. Right, but why? No, this this ah! <laughs> this has to be a bait. That's that's what I was about to say. For my heart ripped in two. There's a star in this one. This has to be it. <laughs> I've been waiting for you, and oh man, have I been waiting, and I hate waiting. You. You've been um, waiting? Uh, what does that mean? Bah -ha. I'll tell you what it means. I used the crystal star to lure you here so that I could take all of your crystal stars. How brilliant is that? And you want to know the best part? Your little peachy princess isn't even here anymore. The peach isn't here? Where'd you take her, you fiend? Buh, 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 buh. Like I tell you the plan. That's novice villain style. No, I won't be doing anything like that. Sorry. Really, guys. So, ready for showtime? You guys are going to be the perfect workout for Magnus Von Grapple 2.0. Uh, 
I hope you're up for the challenge because this thing is raw horsepower, kitties. <laughs> yeah, the last version was buggy, so we made improvements. One, two, a dozen. Get ready for a whole new way to experience pain, you junior varsity losers. You know the one who's going to be hurting, no matter how many times we do this. Okay. Gotta do the thing. Ah, Magnus Von Grapple 2.0, the upgraded version of Magnus Von Grapple. Max HP 70, attack 6, defense 2. Its basic attack is a drill move that drops from above. It also sometimes releases its fists for flying X punches. Each X punch has a max HP of 5, attack of 9, defense of 0. When those fists are flying, you may get attacked by the fists and body in one turn. Take care of the low HP fists early on, trust me. When the body gets low, it'll also fire machine guns and who knows what else. It may not look different from the last version, but it's much stronger, so be careful. I still think the whole design is ridiculous, though. Oh, I... Keep going. I thought the arms were... That's fine. I can just do that. Here it comes, suckers! Magnus Drill Attack! Oof. But I can't attack the arms. I mean, Mario does a lot of damage on his own, so... <laughs> Time to unleash some of that sweet special features on this bad boy. Oh man, this is gonna be so good. Okay, this is what I was waiting for. But our, oh, but it's gonna stack. Okay, that's cool. Whoa, what is that? Okay, I need to swap partners soon. Ha <laughs> ha crud. You guys should be little puddles of nothing by now. Oh well, I still got some tricks up my sleeve. Excuse me, what? Ba 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 ha ha. Eat this. Oh my god. Uh Okay, now we can swap partner. All right, one partner's down. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Yes, 
さったら No, how? What? My sweet powered up robot is on ropes. Oh, this is wrong. <laughs> nice. I mean. Killing blow. Ah, <laughs> oh, damn, I was hoping for the double XP proc. Star Power is now 8, and Mario learned the special Supernova. The last crystal star had been hidden in the x naught hideout on the moon, but by the time Mario recovered it, Peach had already been taken away. Where could Peach be now? And what of the elusive Grotus? Perhaps he holds the key to the remaining puzzle. Mario finally has all seven crystal stars. Where will they lead him next? <laughs> Meanwhile... Well, wait here! Uh, now where is this stupid partially sanctum? Crystal stars there, right? So they say, you put putridness, and lo and behold, there it is now, right behind you. Great! About time something worked out for old Bowser. In we go! Oh, we got control over it. I say, I'd like to mount a large animal horn in my foyer to highlight my social status. Oh my goodness gracious, you have terribly fine horns, don't you, great, you great thing? What? That's disgusting! Get away from me, you creep! You can't have my horns! Oh, look, my heart trembles. The fountain, so elegant. This is art at its finest. So very observant as usual, my dear gold bob. Indeed, surely this is an artist's art. Yes, dearest one, cannot measure its worth by coins. This is exactly what makes art art. And yet, the filthy rich always seek the fine art with their ill-gotten coins. Yes, they seek to buy it, yet how can one appraise what the eye cannot perceive? Whoa! I don't have a clue what you're talking about. You people scare me, seriously! She wants Bowser's giant horn. Stop. <laughs> Stop. Darn it! Whoa, baby! Awesome! It opened! Talk about lucky. I guess rage really pays.
Yes! This is it, Haggy! This is finally it! <laughs> At last, I've gotten my mitts on a crystal star! Yes! Impressive work, Lord Bowser. You're the absolute best star getting guy. You there. I have you now, villains. You are common thieves, aren't you? Aren't you? My eyes never deceive. What are you implying? I'm no little thief. I'm... The remorseless king of evil. So I'll take what I want, and I want this. Uh-oh. Bowser, you say? Remorseless king of... What was that last bit again? Yes, well, no matter. Mm, yes, I, uh... So I deduced. Um, then listen well. That crystal star is actually a veritable red herring. Yes, an imposter. What? A fake? But look at that fancy display, the pedestal and everything, it's so posh. If it's a fake, then where's the real one? If you must know, I gave the real one to Luigi. Oh, ho 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 ho. You've got to be kidding me. You mean to tell me that Luigi beat me here? Ah, oh, those Mario brothers are the most annoying brothers of all time. Hmm, how bothersome. The fact that we keep being outmaneuvered is disturbing. But where in the world could Mario and his brother be heading? Where? Lord Bowser! Ah, Paragoomba. What are you so worked up over, hmm? Tell me. Now reporting, sir and uh, ma'am. Sir and ma'am. Mario's collected the seven crystal stars and is headed for the thousand year door. What? The thousand year door? What the heck is that? The thousand year door, an unbelievably legendary treasure, is behind that door. Then I'm going there too immediately. Princess Peach and the legendary treasure will be mine. Katni, we're leaving now. Ah, well done, Luigi. Way to not fail yet. Wherever you are, may you continue to triumph. Alright, cool. <laughs> Is my phone gonna ring? No. Oh, we finally got all seven crystal stars. Corking. Now we can open the thousand year door. Ah, yes, but. We still don't know where Princess Peach is. Hmm. Well, let's head back to Road Pork. Oh, road Pork. Road. Road. I can't read anymore. Rogue. 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 Rogue Port. Hey, old boy. <laughs> Perhaps Professor Frankly can help us find our dear Princess Peach. Hmm? Oh, yeah. I'm not having a stroke. It's two in the morning. Brain is, um. Shutting down. Um, does that room? I forget where it is. It's like somewhere here. The one with the teleporter. Wait, did they lock all the doors? What? But, uh, bah. I wanted to use the teleporter. That's not cool. <laughs> it's gonna make me backtrack. Huh, that's rather odd. Looks like we can't go back this way, old boy. We best look for another way out. Okay. Why the doors lock? Weird. I guess we'll have to poke around somewhere else for now. Wow. 
why did it make me go all the way back up? All right. Um. Even that's locked. Wow. Well, we now, hmm. You are Mario, are you not? It is pleasant to meet you. I am the main computer of this fortress. I am tech. I must tell you something. That is why I brought you to this place. Princess P... Peach. I am so, so sorry. Most of my data was erased when and my main power unit was shut down. Now running on backup with only cached memory, trying to stay operational. Ma Mario, you know that Princess Peach is not here, do you not? Please save Peach, please, please. Princess Peach is with Grotus heading to the Palace of Shadow. I had to tell you that. Peach is in the Palace of Shadow? But, backup power failing. Mario used the teleporter room to get back to Rogue Fort. Teleporter room is on sub-level 2 of the fortress. I will release the room lock. You know, in hindsight, I probably could have just sent you a text like Princess Peach did and actually left the rooms unlocked. It probably would have saved five minutes and time is of the essence. Please hurry. There is barely enough power left to activate the teleporter. I will cease all AI functions to send power to the teleporter for you. What will happen to you? When the power is all gone, I will cease to exist as an artificial consciousness. But if it will save Peach, I would gladly do this. Because until I met Peach, I knew nothing of love. Do not worry about me. I am just a computer. Just a machine. Mario, you must save Peach. I ask you, please. And tell her. Thank you for me. We will, Tech. So, hurry to the teleporter room on sub-level 2 now. Mario, save her. I'm just saying you could have sent me a message. <laughs> but I get it. Mario, we must save the princess. For that Tech fellow, as well as ourselves. Level two. Oh, this is <laughs> this is the locker room. I guess if I wanted to become the pixel. Wait. I haven't been in here.
Unless it looks different. Hang on. Oh, the door's just open. Aw, oh, man. Peach. Goodbye. I sailed, boy. Did you hear something a moment ago? Hmm. Crockety. <laughs> Croc Crockety. Who is this? Well, if it isn't Mario. <laughs> Over here, son. Uh, you brought the crystal star back from the moon with you, did you didn't you? Uh -huh. <laughs> what? Talking to my good ear. The x not fortress was on the moon. Ah, yes. So Princess Peach was there too, I assume? Assuredly. But the x North boss took her and made for the Thousand Year Door. Ha ha ha! Just a bit ago, I smelled some rank air and went to the Thousand Year Door. I saw a suspicious fellow in a cape pass through to the other side of the door with Princess Peach. Pardon? What? What? Dear fellow, you led me to believe the door would open with all seven crystal stars. Believe me, I, I know, but I'm quite certain of it. I saw it with my own eyes. I have a very bad feeling about this. Very bad. Princess Peach is in danger. Time is short. We must go to the Thousand Year Door and rescue the princess. I'll run ahead and meet you there. Don't dawdle. You must come immediately. Yeah, about that. <laughs> I'm not gonna do that. Who is this? Your inbox is haunted by me, the spirit you met on the Excess Express. I bet you're wondering how an ethereal being like myself can type an email. Well, actually, I possessed a train conductor to do it. Don't worry, he's doing just fine. I think maybe I'll do my new diary like this. Email's convenient, you know? And leaving a record of my afterlife is cool, in spiritual sense, I mean. Good luck with your quest. Alright. Okay, well, there's there's one more chapter, so I will endeavor to wrap this up tomorrow. But I think I'm like one battle from leveling up, so I can go to the snow area next time and um, just quickly get that level and then I'll just equip those two well the power badge and then if I get another level I'll just throw it into health and that should be okay all right well it is really late I went a bit over tonight but it's fine um that was a lengthy chapter anyway if you're checking this out later on as a replay on YouTube thanks for sticking around to the end hope you enjoyed if you do want to support the channel over there, the one that has all those VODs, you can do things like click the like button, subscribe, or you can also watch me play other things if you just click one of those videos that pop up, or go have a look around. That stuff does help the channel out a lot, so thank you to those that do that. Really appreciate it. But yeah, we'll uh, wrap this up tomorrow. 